As lawmakers negotiate another round of coronavirus funding, members of the House are hearing from executives of pharmaceutical firms testifying about the headway being made towards a vaccine. Ray Bogan has the latest. Before a vaccine is distributed, public health experts must ensure that it is safe, effective, and available to all who need it. The House is hearing from drug makers who are candidates to create a coronavirus vaccine. It comes a day after promising news from Oxford University and AstraZeneca, showing their early trials created a strong immune response and no safety concerns. We're scaling up to manufacture up to 300 million doses of the vaccine to be available immediately upon approval or emergency use authorization. Fox News confirms Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Chief of Staff Mark Meadows will be negotiating the Phase 4 coronavirus package with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. There will be need to compromise, as the Democratic proposal calls for $3 trillion in spending, while Republican leadership says they won't spend more than $1 trillion. Why has it taken so long? For the White House and Senate Republicans to get serious. The White House for months has done nothing. I'm optimistic. I think Republicans and Democrats alike know that we have to do a phase four. Meanwhile, after not being seen wearing a mask publicly until a visit to Walter Reed Medical Center, President Trump sent out a tweet Monday with a picture reading, Many people say that it is patriotic to wear a face mask when you can't socially distance. Put on a mask and I think that's the best way forward and the president has been saying that for weeks. McEnany says when President Trump resumes his daily coronavirus briefings this afternoon, they will be short and he will be taking questions.